guys, my name is Spencer Kaufman. Thank you for watching the Deception Tips videos. They're all about teaching you how to read people and detect deception so that you will be able to tell if someone is lying to you. Today we are going to talk about a tactic that you can use when you are speaking with other people, when you're trying to find out a specific answer to something, something that you can do in an effort to kind of trip them up and catch them in whatever they're doing. Now we talked about this, something similar to this, way a long time ago, 40 videos ago, called number 21. It was on suggesting or guessing answers very similar to this one. And we said that when you are trying to get these answers out of people that they may look like a deer in the headlights. Their mouth may be in an O shape, they'll be kind of surprised, and they may hold their breath for a split second. So again, that's very related to this one. So here it is. This is deception tip number 61. Liars will often hold their breath as the target guesses the possible answers. Then exhale the instant the target guesses correctly. So again, we talked about this in number 21, suggesting answers, and this one is very similar. Last time we spoke about how they would hold their breath, they might be surprised, their mouth would be caught in an O shape, kind of like a, and then also that deer in the headlights look, like they're, oh my gosh, how did you know? And so this tip is very similar in that instead of suggesting possible answers, this one, you're a little bit more certain you are starting to guess the most likely outcomes of whatever it is you're trying to find. So if you want to know where they hid something and you've narrowed it down to certain areas and you're starting to really hone in on it, now you're going to watch that person and look for these behaviors. Look for the holding of the breath. You're going to look for surprise like, wow, I can't believe you got that. Now obviously, unless they are playing a game with you and they are going to reveal you the answer like some sort of a magic trick or they hid your keys and you're going to guess where they are they're not going to be like oh my goodness you got it right how'd you do that most of the time in this situation when you're trying to find this information they are going to withhold it from you they are lying to you so you're going to guess these answers and they're not going to tell you what the right answer is so you need to know based on their body language and how they react. So they're going to react in different ways. There's their breathing patterns, their eyes, remember the holding their breath, things like that. You may also see the surprise. You could also see a little bit of anger if they're upset that you got the correct answer. So watch out for those and keep in mind that as you're guessing these answers, you might see other signs. If you're way off, and you're in the complete other room and you're, they, they hid something in the living room and you're guessing all these other rooms or wherever, whatever the scenario may be, then they may show signs of happiness that you're on the wrong track. Or maybe they're even going to show a little bit of contempt. Remember we talked about that in deception tip number 19. How if they are feeling like you're going down the wrong path, they may be a little contemptuous towards you like, ha ha, I'm smarter than you. you, you'll never get it they'll show that type of a thing. And then as you start coming back towards the right path, when you're getting warmer and not colder, then they may start to show those signs of anger or unhappiness that you're getting close to where they have it hidden. And then when you find out, they're going to be shocked, surprised, etc. On the other hand, it could also be a form of relief. Like you may also have that holding of breath and then they'll let it go. And they could be relieved that they didn't have to tell you. Like maybe the situation is in something where you're trying to get them to rat out someone or turn on somebody or tell you the story which could implicate maybe someone they were working with or a friend or whatever. And if you guess the scenario and then all they have to do is be like, okay, that was it. Now there may be that relief there that they didn't have to be the one to tell you. Obviously, you got it from them, but they didn't speak it to you. So there's that kind of internal feeling there. So keep that in mind. Pay attention. Watch for those signs and those patterns and clusters all related around that when you're trying to find the truth. So if this is your first time watching these videos, I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Feel free to comment with any questions as well. Also, if you'd like more information, there are books, blog posts, and podcasts all available on spencercoffman.com that are dedicated to teaching you exactly what everybody is really saying. Until next time.